What's up, guys? It's Neon. I am back with another video back from my 2023 NASCAR Cup Series Atlanta race review. And, well, it wasn't the wreck fest that we got the last two days, or, well, the last two races, I should say, because both of them were yesterday. But, up until the final run of the race, after the last caution, that race was ass. Single file, majority of the time. Again, why? Why reconfigure this place? I get it. The repave option probably wouldn't have been good at first. But if you don't change anything about the racetrack and you just repave the fucker, you give it a couple years, that shit is going to get good again. Completely reconfiguring it into a one and a half mile of super speedway doesn't fucking work. It does not work. Either you get a wreck fest or you get mid ass racing. Which do you want? Personally, I want neither. I don't want either at this track. But anyway, uh, with that being said, though, make sure to uh, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. And let's get into the rest of this. So, Christopher Bell, the only car to start at the back due to unproved adjustments. We get 10 laps in. Bubba Wallace gets loose, spins off the corner. Uh, caution comes out, hits the inside wall. Unfortunately, struggles the rest of the day. Uh, tough break for him. Ryan Free suffers a penalty with uh, Remember Over the Wall too soon. And Joey Logano takes the stage one win. Austin Sendrick second, Brad Kozlowski third, Ryan Blaney fourth, Denny Hamlin fifth, Ky uh, Christopher Bell sixth, Kyle Busch seventh, Chris Buescher eighth, Daniel Suarez ninth, Mark Strick Jr. tenth. Priest says he lost his, he's losing his cylinder and runs the rest of the race. I think I'm like six or seven of them. Um, we get green flag pit stops in stage two. Austin Dillon goes to pit, misses entry, then makes it. Blaney gets a speeding penalty. Priest gets a commitment line violation because he ran out of gas and you know, would have caused a caution otherwise, so there's that. And Cody Ware got an uncontrolled tire penalty. And then Austin Sindrick takes the stage two win, which would have gone to Joey Logano if not for traffic, uh, and a bit of a help from Alex Bowman. Uh, Sindrick gets the stage win, Logano second, Reddick third, Byron fourth, Bowman fifth, Busher sixth, George Jr. seventh, Hamlin eighth, Kozlowski ninth, and LaJoy in tenth. Chris Busher gets a speeding penalty. Corey LaJoy and Noah Gregson make contact as Noah Gregson's falling back in the top lane all by himself. Gregson gets in the wall a couple laps after. And then we finally get a bit some chaos. We get a caution. Chastain. It looked at first like he bumped Harvick in the corner and got Harvick loose and then finished him off. But upon closer replay, he didn't. He finished him off, yes. But he never touched him originally. There's just... There, you could probably put a stack of paper between Chastain's front end and Harvick's, and Harvick's rear end, um, and that's where the air was, and it got Harvick loose and turned him around, and then Chastain was right behind and finished him off. Uh, he gets sideways and spins and collects Busher, Barry, and Byron. Kyle Busch bins behind them, but Wallace gets in the back of Harrison Burton against the wall. Ty Gibbs was side contact alongside Her uh, Austin Dillon. BJ McLeod was involved somewhere along the way. Busher, Harvick, Byron, Burton, McLeod, done. Um, Denny Hamlin and Ty Dillon make contact on Pit Road. And then we get another caution a little bit later. What oh, would actually be the final caution of the day. Uh, coming out for a wreck involving Eric Almarola, Kyle Larson, Justin Haley, David Suarez, Reddick, and Bowman with slight contact from Larson. Uh, what happened here was Almarola on tires that were over 70 laps old, uh, blows a tire from the lead. Larson had nowhere to go. He gets bumped by Reddick a little bit uh, as he's collected by Almarola. Uh, and Larson hits Haley, spins around, catches Suarez a little bit. Uh, Larson and Almarola would be done for the day, and Suarez would get knocked out a little later uh, with the damage vehicle policy time limit expiring on him. Tough break uh, for them, and especially tough break for both Byron and Larson, considering the penalties from earlier in the week due to the louvers being removed from the cars last week. Now, Hendrick has appealed. Uh, colleagues appealed because Justin Haley got the same penalty. And then there's the Denny Hamlin thing uh, as well. So it remains to be seen what happens from there on. But um, for the time being, 
Larson and Byron not finishing this race, especially after Byron won the last two and was going for three in a row. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, so we get over, I believe, like over 30, if not close to 40 laps of green flag racing the remainder of the way. And it was a chess match at the front between Kozlowski and Logano trying to keep the bottom line together. The top line running really well. Kozlowski leads up the final lap. We get through one and two. We get down the back stretch. Kozlowski goes to block one lane and it opens the door on the top for Joey Logano, who steals the fucking win. The guy who starts on pole inevitably ends up winning after getting mired in the mid pack due to the earlier cautions and and pit road shenanigans and stuff. Again, what do you want? Because the old configuration was perfectly fine. Atlanta now, it's either a wreck fest with both the trucks and Xfinity races yesterday, or mid-ass train racing with the Cup Series today, up until the final 40 or so laps. They don't, it doesn't work. And I hope NASCAR can figure something out when we get back here in the, in the, uh, in the summer. Because this shit does not fucking work. I would I echo Justin uh, Allgaier's sentiments from yesterday. Th this doesn't work. It doesn't. And SMI fucked it up. You fucked up Texas years ago. You fuck and then again in more recent years. You fucked up Atlanta. And now I hope to God that Auto Club doesn't get fucked up with this short track configuration. But anyway, with all that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. So you don't miss out on future videos and streams. Uh, make sure, and again, please subscribe. Trying to get to 800 subscribers by WrestleMania. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.